you're so inspirational. I can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> so you won Survivor, yes, right? Yes, I did you, win. You, um, you were in The Amazing Race. I didn't do so well in The Amazing Race. But that's race, okay. So you were so in it. That. I was in it, yes. <laughs> um, you've competed in a whole bunch of notable marathons. How do you, how do you stay motivated? Like, what keeps you on track? I think, you know, tying like a, a personal cause mm -hmm. to pretty much everything I do really makes it a little easier for me to yeah. like put my body through the pain and the torture or the mental stress of being on some of those shows or running those mm -hmm. long distances. Because, you know, if I know I'm running this marathon to help raise money for grassroots soccer, mm -hmm. you know, I know that every single step, you know, I'm doing something good. And instead of just being pissed off that I'm at mile 26 and I don't want to go anymore. <laughs> I know that all right, I got to do it for the kids at grassroots soccer yeah. and I got to do it to help you know raise awareness for cancer research. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a little bit of, of why I do it and you know it really feels good to help other people mm -hmm. and I realize you know focusing on you know the plight of other humans really helps you heal yeah. and I think uh, to make happiness real for other people is one of the greatest things you can do in this world. Was it hard to put the whole cancer thing behind you? Yeah, it yeah. was. I don't necessarily think it's behind me. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of invisible scars and, mm -hmm. you know, lots of uncertainty. And I definitely am afraid that they may come back. But I feel if you kind of focus on the negative side of everything, that uh, you're just kind of wasting time. You yeah. know, I could sit here and just focus, oh my God, it's going to come back. It's going to come back. But instead, you know, if it comes back, I have to deal with it. So then yeah. I just wasted all this time thinking about it. I might as well just do something good with this time and come hang out in Cape Town and see wild animals someplace. <laughs> well, that's not Not a bad right plan. here, but a little, <laughs> a little far away from here. Now, has your outlook on life changed? I mean, it sounds like it's changed, and I know um, a lot of survivors say that they, they look at life in a, in a whole different way that they couldn't even imagine had, that they would be this way before the diagnosis. Is that the same for you? I think it's a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I think. Um, when I was younger, my father passed away from cancer, so mm -hmm. I think I had a good perspective on, a little bit of a good perspective on the world, and obviously having traveled to Africa and living in Zimbabwe, I've seen some, some not great situations. Mm -hmm. So I think I had a good perspective on the, the world, and I think I valued kind of life in a good way, but yes, it's cliche to say, but you do look at things a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. It puts things into perspective. I understand what's important and what's not, you know, friends and family, and you know, connecting with people personally is just so much more important to yeah. me now. And I'll, the reality show in Hollywood and all that stuff is fantastic and it's fun, but you just gotta, I think you can, you just gotta realize what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as you can have fun doing it and, and use it for a good purpose, I think it's, it's, it's okay. Any other reality shows in your <laughs> future? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Man, I've done too many. Right. But, uh, yeah. But of course, you know, I, ha I mean, if Survivor called me again and they said, hey, we want Survivor to All-Stars, that yeah, would be cool. That would be cool. I did a Survivor's All-Stars, right. but I didn't. Like all, but it was way back in the day. Mm. But I was like, I'm an old man now. I was like young <laughs> and fit and strong back then. And now you're, I'm like. I would say you're still young and fit and strong. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>